This is a demonstration of using pig slurry on tillage land. It is farmed by Martin Doran and his son Cahill. The land parcel is 34 acres of ground with two thirds under spring barley and one third sown to fodder beet. The land is 160 metres above sea level and the site is very exposed to wind. In 2021, this land got pig slurry for the very first time. The land received 2,200 gallons of pig slurry per acre, or 10 cubic metres per acre, on the 22nd of March 2021. The slurry was spread using a band spreader and was ploughed in immediately. The slurry was good quality, well over 5% dry matter. The Slurry was used to replace one and three quarter bags of 10, 10, 20 per acre of fertilizer. This is a saving of 35 euros per acre on fertilizer costs, but the cost of spreading amounted to 45 euros per acre. The barley was sown on the 4th of April and the fodder beet was sown on the 15th of April. Today is the 3rd of November 2021 and we're just looking at the crop of fodder beet here. Martin, this was your first time ever to use pig slurry on this farm. What was your impression of it and uh, were you happy with the yields you got? Yeah, we were, we were very happy with the yields actually. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, we're not actually in Kildare here, you know, and, and, and uh, to get three and a quarter ton, which I thought was very good uh, for the land. On spring barley. On yeah. spring barley, yeah. yeah and uh, we, would, we would attribute a good bit of it now to the pig slurry, you know. Yes. Yeah. So, um, well, I'd be very, I'd be very happy, I'm very happy with the yields and yeah. the way things work first. Like, you know, um, and, and with uh, the fodder beet here, and really... the fodder beet here is as, as, as very promising looking. Yes. You know, it's, uh, um, as, as we know, we all know, we won't know till the, the, the in the trail. Exactly. Uh, yeah. what, 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 what so we, out, we'll see what yield comes. We'll see what yield comes, but it looks, it looks promising enough. Like you know, I, I was a bit, we were a bit unlucky with the year in that, in that uh, April was cold. And May was very wet and it kind of cold as well. Yes. And then she was dried up then and it was kind of nearly too dry, you know, that kind of a way. Yeah. Kind of a drought situation nearly. And um, so all in all, uh, we were very happy with the, with, 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 with the situation. And if you use pig slurry again, and, and what thoughts would you have in terms of the future? I would, I would, I, I would use pig slurry again because I think we need it here. And um, uh, we need some organic matter coming into the land here. and. Uh, um, I, I'd like to just get to, to know what, what what value it has. Yeah, just the nutrient content. The nutrient those, content yeah. and, and, and that to be, uh, uh, if I was going to spread it, like you yeah. know, I'd like to know them things about with tailor my uh, fertilizer yeah. uh, accordingly. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. so you so can balance up your fertilizer. Balance up that kind of thing, you know. Yes. So, yeah. so overall, Martin, you would be happy to to go ahead and use it again. Oh, I would. Martin was very pleased with the yield of spring barley. This was 3.25, three and a quarter tons of spring barley per acre. This was a very good yield given the year. And while the fodder beet has not been harvested, the yield of fodder beet is looking very, very promising. Mm -hmm.